Hello, BookTube. I'm back with uh, this sort of unofficial uh, little series of preferences in books in many ways. Uh, this time it's French Flaps and Deckle Edges. Here's an example that has both of them. This is one of the Penguin Deluxe Editions for Dracula by Bram Stoker. And it has French Flaps, extra real estate. It's almost like a, uh, a dust jacket on it. There are ones that do have dust jackets, but we'll get maybe get to those at some other time if anybody's interested. Uh, but it's it's like a dust jacket, but it's it's part of the binding. It's like a, pay, a normal paperback. These are larger. They're usually a lot of times I've seen. Well, I think all the time I've seen them are on larger books. I may be wrong about that, but they have it in front and back. I like them because the the covers are more sturdy, less likely for it to roll back or, or get uh, bent easily uh, while you're reading it or anything else. And it gives, as I say, extra real estate for more pictures or um, simply just uh, extra text information that you can put on it. And then the decal edges. Um, as you can see there, um, maybe not. Well, you can see it's uneven. See, the bottom is, they, they've guillotined it, they've cut it smoothly, and the top. Now, this is something that has, I don't know how recently this has happened. It's sort of cropped up, I think, within the last decade or so that I've noticed it. Uh, in, in mainstream books, where it used to be, either in, in antiquarian, like older books, like oh, about 100 years old or thereabouts, um, or in book club editions from the 60s and 70s, uh, sort of, or, or before, uh, where they the book club editions were... Uh, cheaper editions at the time and they would save a little bit on not cutting the edges now is that what's happened with uh with uh publishers now they figure that they'll save a little bit and somehow it's become a a thing and people enjoy it i particularly don't like um the decal edges i like the tactile feel people talk about that that does feel nice but when you're going to See, I can't, it's very hard for me to get that page. I have to go from the top. And I'm not, and it's something that after, you know, 50 years of reading almost, uh, you know, to, to, to then change habits is a little difficult. And you have to think about it or you, you do the one, it doesn't work, you got to try the other. It's not a big, it's not a big deal, but it's just a preference that, I, that uh, for me that I prefer straight edges. However... When it comes to older books like this, there's, you know, gilt edge along the top. The bottom's even the same way. It's uncut. The, the, the page edges are, uh, they're untrimmed, I should say. They're, they're, they're not trimmed. And that's what decal edges is. are, is, are, whichever, either, both. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of like it in the old ones because... You got the age, you get the rippling effect, and it's actually, that's visually nice. This one's not so visually nice to me. Tactile, yes. Visual, no. So, what do you prefer? Do you do you prefer decal edges or no decal edges? To decal or no or not to decal? Uh, to, Fre to, to French flap or not to French flap? Which do you prefer? Uh, I'd love to uh, find out. Do sound out in the comments. Thank you, BookTube.